Hi, welcome to week eight of the monologue project. This week we have Katie from Bunny, written by Jack Thorne. <sighs> well, they're not all going to be winners, right? <laughs> it's the first time I've hit a monologue and I just, honest to God, I can't stand it. <laughs> there's nothing redeeming about it, except there's no swearing, which is kind of nice, I guess. I, considering all the other ones, I should be excited about this. Um, she's 18. Um, clearly there's a little bit of privilege there and, um, we're going to act like a tool. Um, challenges this week have been interesting. So I'm filming this Monday night, like late Monday night, because, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend and there's parties and, uh, there's a voice that's deciding to go away. Um, but also I have all of the things all of a sudden scheduled. I have two big callbacks scheduled. I have, um, I'm shooting a film. Can you believe it? Uh, next week in Ohio. So I'm trying to do all the prep for all of that. Plus I'm still in rehearsals for Cuckoo's Nest while I'm trying to get this done. So um, it just adds an interesting level of chaos to the chaos. So uh, not complaining, not complaining, not complaining. If you complain, it goes away. So that said, um, this is Katie from Bunny, written by Jack Thorpe. I used to have a fat friend, Sheridan, named after a Sheffield Wednesday footballer. <laughs> and they wonder why she ate bulimia in the end. She got hospitalized when she turned yellow. Then they moved her from the school when she got out of hospital because they wanted to change her routine and they weren't sure our school was a healthy environment. Like any school is a healthy environment. But I did like watching her eat. With, with every mouthful, you just saw this look of pure gratitude crossing her face. Like, oh, I can't believe I'm getting to eat this. This is awesome. I say friend. But she wasn't, really. I mean, my friends are different. I'm, um... It's difficult to explain without sounding thick. But me and her, we don't fit like that. Not that I fit anywhere. I'm the unfit fitter. I don't fit. But not in a bad way, just in a way to give an instance. And this is true and very, very illustrative. Everyone came to my 18th birthday party. I mean, every single one of the 25 I invited and all were important. And also everyone left my birthday party every single one of the 25 at 10.30 p.m. Which is not a normal time to leave any birthday party. I know, and that's what I mean about... But they were bored, and it was quite shit, and they thought it'd be funny to leave, and it sort of was, you know, funny. Still quite an embarrassing one to explain to your parents. Where are all your friends? Um, hiding? No. They've gone. Obviously. Where have they gone? Turn. Look parents in the eye because this is pointless. Basically, I turned it all on them, which was fair enough. I mean, they'd made some effort, but it was the wrong effort. I mean, and so had I. I mean, it was mostly my fault. Like, there was booze, but there were too many snacks and not enough Ann Summers toys or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's not as bad as it sounds. Still, Mom apologized a week later for it being crap, but, but she didn't do it well enough. So I stole her wallet. She spent ages looking for it. I know I must have left it somewhere. Turned the house upside down, had to cancel all her cards, and being Mom and being slightly overcautious about most things, canceling her cards included canceling her library card. I just don't want to accrue unnecessary fines, that's all, she said. <laughs> I put it in her sock drawer two days later. Minus one pound fifty exactly, just to see if she'd notice. She didn't. She was pleased yeah, to get it back. Anyway, that's what's complicated. I mean, <laughs> that's part of my resettlement software. Abe didn't come to the party. We'd only been together six weeks then, and he decided it would be too much of a thing. That's when we had sex, actually. 
that night. After he decided he couldn't come to my birthday party because it would be too much of a commitment, I decided that I would give him my Virginia County.